All right, back to my build series. This is the, uh, I'm doing the wiring on the uh, flight controller. And the first step is the XT60, which is a, this is a blue one. I found it at a local hobby store. And I mean, psh, it's blue. It works. It's going to work anyway. I'm not going to try to do anything crazy with it. I just like it. I think I may put some heat shrink on this. Uh, no. Okay. So my wires, I've already kind of measured them. So it's going to sit. Basically going to sit like this. So probably need to trim them pretty close. About right here. So we'll go ahead and just clip them. And then we want to strip these right here. Might be a little excessive, but you eh, know. This is your battery wire, so you want to make sure you tin it real good. <clears throat> And these wires are, I'll make sure we're in frame, yeah. How well you can see this, but it takes a while because these are pretty stout wires. I don't know what gauge these are, but they're, you got to really get the solder, get this wire hot for it to take it. And sometimes it doesn't and falls off like that. I just like to get it around it and when I get a glob on there it'll melt there you go uh, you don't want to overdo it but you still want to make sure it gets tinned really good there you go you can see it kind of see it kind of Makes it nice and silver. All right, and on the uh, the flight controller, you see you've got your two pads. This is your negative. This is your positive. So I'm just gonna get the pad warm. I like to do it like this a little bit, and then get this started and just get some on there. Let it pull up. Boom. here same thing on the negative connection let it pull up it's really hard on camera there you go you can see right there it's got a nice it's covered up really good now this is my negative right here so I think I'm gonna just get a little bit of this off. It's just a hair too long. I think this one also. So you're gonna take it, and this is where these come in handy. You're gonna take it, and I get the um, the pad really hot. And that's a good solder joint, I think. Yeah. Now this one, you want to make sure you don't want to touch any of these other components. Like whatever resistors, whatever. But you still want to get the... 
get it nice and hot. Then touch it. And hold it down. And that looks ugly. <clears throat> I mean, that would probably work, but I just don't like it. I want to make sure that I'm doing something. And all you got to really do is grab it. I'm a little happier with that. That's a little bit better. It's not perfect, but still. Now, let's see if this is going to work. So flight controller is powered. <clears throat> so now <clears throat> I still don't like that. I think that can look better. So Got to fight with it sometimes to get it to work. There, that's better. That looks much better. <sighs> that looks much better. Alright, uh, I'm gonna guess stop it there and go to the next step. This is the final. This is what we got. We have our, our fly controller and there's our XT60 coming off the back which is going to mount here and battery will mount underneath and it will come down I kind of want it to you know be below the uh, doesn't stick up so it doesn't catch so there may, I may put something here to kind of hold it down once I actually get it installed but maybe you know what let's maybe this thing Maybe this will actually help with that. Maybe I could mount this. You know what I'm saying? Well, we'll figure that out. But anyway, thanks for watching. The next step, uh, we are going to wire up the ESCs. All right, thanks for watching and like, subscribe, comment. Thank you.